So with that said, I'm gonna pop this back. We're still on that here. All right, it is 5.30, there we go. Guys, my name is Megan, what's up? Hi, hello, how are you? Um, it is Tuesday, it has been a beautiful, beautiful day over here in Southern California, and I hope you got outside even just for a little tiny bit of fresh air, it's gorgeous. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick off our 5.30 workout by going over some equipment, and we're just gonna breathe and then get started. So. Uh, equipment for today that you're going to need. You saw already me use that resistance tube, so we're going to use that resistance tube. If you don't have a resistance tube, you can always, always do the movements with hand weights um, and then modify with the band for that scrambled eight section. Those work there too. Um, you're also going to go ahead, I am going to use those set of hand weights, so keep a hand weights nearby. We have it for one of our core movements and one of our first leg exercises. Um, for legs also, we're gonna be using a heavy resistance band, something I like the fabric one. Um, if you have it, if not, I want you to think about something that's difficult to pull past the shoulders, like really tight onto that there. We're going for heavy onto it here for two of those leg exercises. And then our last leg exercise that we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and use a medium resistance band. So right here, this can be a light to medium resistance band. I want you guys to think hamstring curls, think um, kind of like a bungee movement like that. So grab whatever is gonna work well for you for there. And then last but certainly not least, our best friends, those discs, those sliders, those washcloths, those paper plates, whatever you got going on, whatever surface, something that just slides, moves across it, and that's a work with that there. All right, spiel done on that right there. Take a deep breath in. Whew. You guys, you've set aside 45 minutes of your day. Right now, it's so much easier um, to just sometimes ignore the little things, the little, the little taking care of ourselves moments because we're either taking care of something else or we're starting to lose that motivation and focus for it here. So I really want us to be super mindful. I asked 7.30 this morning the same thing is really just listening into your body as we move with it here and just using mindful, mindful movement. Not so often we're so, we let life kind of happen to us and I get to feel like that too. I remember when I was like, oh my gosh, we're on week six, how did it get here? And so rather than in this quarantine time really trying to have life like happen to us and then us look back and be like, okay, oh, we just got through that. Um, I want you to be mindful and intentional in this workout. So I want you to really kind of connect to the body, feel the muscle, where is it working? Where can you feel that strength coming up? Hang on to your breath. Where do you feel that your breath, you're starting to hold it? How do you get mindful of how you can use that breath to help strengthen the body and help keep you going and in the movements for longer? Spiel done. All right. With that all said, everything's intention in. We're going comments off so that we can pop in, see that full face right here. I'm gonna pop on that playlist. We're gonna pump up some jams and we are gonna get that body moving nice and strong. You're gonna use those discs. Go ahead and meet with them underneath those feet. Meet me in a high plank position in three, two, time is on. All right, here we go. So, high plank position, toes are onto that disc. You can use one or both of those discs, whatever you're more comfortable with. Shoulders out of the ears, core in tight. First 20 seconds, just hold. Take a deep breath in, squeeze. Push the heels behind you, pull the core in tight. Good, you guys, so in those planks right here, we're not just letting those hips drop low, you're scooping up, pulling in the belly button in tight to spine. Keep the chin off the chest. There we go. Good, you guys, 45 minutes, such a short portion of our day. Let it get all your attention as we get ready. We're gonna lift into our first movement, that slow four count, plank to pike. Hips come up in three, two, one. Let's go up for four. Lift, get tall on the toes, three, two, pause there. Slowly take it right back out the way. Good, you guys, you work at your range, your tempo. If those hips are just coming up two to three inches, stopping there, that's perfect. Hang on to it, breathe. Let's go, up four. Tuck that chin to chest, three. Two, hold, take it right back out. So we're looking back to those toes underneath in that V, and you're constantly keeping that press between their thumb and index finger. Push away, feel the shoulder blades separate, pull back and down. There we go, 10 seconds here. Woo, 
we're gonna go into our first hold. I want you to think right now, where's that halfway point? Hold it there, get still in four, three, two. Hold it there, now lift it up an inch. Up two, take it out an inch. Out two, right here, 15 seconds, squeeze. Little pulses right here. This is that first little challenge to get so mindful. Squeeze your abs and belly button to smile. Flex the core. Let the squeeze, let the pulse of the abs make that movement. Last six, come on. Breathe it out, there we go. Good, you guys, you got this here. Back to full range, three, two, final 15 seconds, go. Go, I'm getting you off those wrists from here. Hang on to it, stay with it. We're gonna go ahead, fine. That second, just for me. Woo, here we go. You find that kneeling crunch in three, two, one. Okay, right here. So knees come onto the mat. Both hands onto those discs. Take it out, meet me in a modified push-up position. Make sure the shins are planted down. Now curl up, round up, squeeze. Slowly take it right back out. Right here, everything is about lifting, separating those shoulder blades, pushing through. For my yogis out there, I want you to think about getting to the top of that cap. Pressing away from the floor, but dragging against the heel of the hands to create that tension. Use the belly button back to spine. Squeeze, squeeze, pull it there. Good, so we're not bending at the hips. What you're doing is if you had a high-waisted belt on and someone just picked it up from the back, pulled it to the ceiling, what would that do? Find that fold. There we go. Good, you guys. Last 10. Woo! Hang into it here. We're going to pop up. Get ready in four. Popping up and over. We find that super crunch. Feet to that disc in three. Two, one. Feet can either come both disc or one. Either way, take it out. I'm gonna start to use those hand weights here. If you want it, go for it. But you're taking it out. Reaching in. So right here, we're using the legs, the torso. Hold, level one, you can place those hands right behind, slowly lowering it down. Make sure you still have that tension. Get the chin off the chest. Take it here, level two, take it up. Woo! Hands can come behind the ears or reach out. I'm gonna take that option to reach out at that tall diagonal. But what we're not doing is fully sitting up. Take it down, I want you to think flat, neutral spine right here. Our final core exercise to warm up those center abdominals, we will roll through the, each vertebrae. But right here, it's a flat, neutral spine. Lower it like you're hinging, just opening at the hip. Take it back. Squeeze. There we go. Right here, hang on to it. Breathe it, hold it out in four, three, two. Hold it there. If you got those hand weights, lift them up a minute. Take the feet out an inch. Now drop the shoulders down an inch. Take it up one. Down an inch, last six, we're gonna add those legs. Those legs are gonna pulse, the torso's gonna hold. In three, two, hold the shoulders back, maybe even bring those hands in. But knees come in an inch. Take it out an inch, come on, all low abs. Take it, reach. For eight, breathe. For six, there we go. Remove that disc, plant your feet, carriage sit up. In three, two, one, take it up. Now slowly roll it down. Roll it down right here. Watch the change, you're gonna scoop. Scoop, roll the abs. Stop the shoulder blades above the floor. Now lift straight up. Get tall. Stop there, take it down. Exhale. Woo, center in right here. Good, you guys. Right about now, you've had a point in class where it would have been easier to do less, but there was something that kept you going. Something that lets you know that that little shake, that little fight was worth it. Name it. Put a name to it. Pick a word. Pick a phrase. You know the deal. Let's go. Hang on to it. Put that breath in. Exhale up. Get ready. Final hold. You take this one down. Hold it halfway. Three, two, feet come up. Send it out. Hold. 
Hold it here. You got a 30 second hold. Yes, you can. Shoulders out of the ears, core and tight. It's that upside down plank. You can plant down the low abs here. Push the arms out. Level two, take those arms up right here. Flex those heels, push away like you're pressing away that ceiling. We're gonna keep those hand weights as we get ready for that floor lunge here. Woo! In eight, goes you guys, right foot forward, floor lunge. In three, two, one. Okay, find that disc right here. So it's right foot forward, left foot back. We're gonna drop into that floor lunge. That means you're gonna frame that foot. Slowly climb it up. Stop before the top, take it right back out and away. Go low. Hip square, core tight, come on. Slowly take it up. Shoulders out of the ears, good you guys. First time, we're isolating one single limb. This right leg is gonna get all of our focus. Fight in, push it in, go strong. That time is on, breathe it out, go down low. Woo, first one's right here. That right leg is just starting to get warmed up, just starting to get those little feels into it. I want you to send that focus into the back of the glute. Can you feel it squeeze? Make a fist with that glute, punch it through the ceiling. Keep high onto that back toe. Breathe, go back to that four count right here. So in Legree, what you're gonna do, every movement is that four Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Two, one, stop before that leg locks out, take it down. What that allows us to do is remove all momentum. Just work into those slow twitch, those elongating muscle fibers, come on. Push into it, shoulders out of the ears, go low. Low, find those inner thighs as you squeeze them coming back and in. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Wiggle those right toes, I want you to stay heavy into that right foot. So by adding the hand weights in right here, we're able to mimic a little bit more pressure through that front right foot that you would feel on a typical floor lunge on that mega former right here. Because you guys, we got eight. We're gonna take it all the way down. We're gonna take it down, hold. First set of pulses, let's go. Take it down in three, two, hold it there. Shoulders out of the ears. Let's go, down one, hold. Down two, pause. Up one, hold. Up two, pause. Use those two inches, come on. Stay on to them. Breathe. There we go. Two inches each direction. Stay on to it. Good, you guys, hands go right behind you. Give me that long jump in three, two, one. Arms pulse, go up an inch. Up two. Take the arms down an inch. Down two, I know that right leg is starting to talk to you right here. Talk back, tell it it's got it, you got it right here. We're just warming up into that right leg. Good, you guys, 10 seconds right here, little lift. It's two, take it down one, down two, come on, right here. We're going final 20 seconds of full range. Bring those hands to prayer in three, two, one, come on. Take it up, take it up, squeeze right there. You give me three, this is one. Take it all the way down, hold. Breathe right there, take it out, four. Three, two, pause, take it down, send it low. Because you guys, that's two. You got one more, all the way up, all the way down. Push through it, drive through it here, take it down, four. Take it down, three, hold here for eight. Just hold, hold. Because you guys, you're gonna find that heavy, that resistance band, it's gonna go right around the front leg. We're going right into that runner's lunge. Give me that static hold on the right. In three, two, one, climb it up slow. Okay, keep that disc. Place that band. We're going right around the front of the right leg, the back of the left hamstring. Get that low runner's lunge. Think about that runner's lunge, that starting pace. Then lift the chest, pushing back out and away. So again, right foot forward. Taking it back out and away. Get the hips squared, get the chest tall, so that as you push into this here, gonna give you that side angle so that as you push, you're reaching back behind the hip. Slowly draw that knee and stop there. Get those low 90s, push it out. Breathe, slowly take it right back in. All right, locking into it. Now the reason I like the band around the front of the shin is it creates that band parallel to the floor. So we're not just pulling against the quad, but you're pressing down into that right heel. Get that press, push it out. Woo! Stay on to this here, come on. Because you guys, you got it. 
right back into the back of the glute, that hamstring, hang on to it, push, hold, slowly take it in, breathe, hold, there we go, you got 15 seconds, left into this push, Whew, that shake is coming in strong, nice you guys, last eight, take it in, hold it halfway, in three, two, two inches, let's go, down an inch, out one, hold, down an inch, out one, hold, just two inches right here, Good, you guys, from here, you got 15 seconds on these two inches. Fight for them, work for them. We're gonna hit our very last one together. All the way out, all the way in, let it shake, let it go. Let's go, take it out for four, three, two, hold, take it in for four, three, two, hold right here, stay strong. This band's gonna come around those legs, you got 10. We're going baby skating. Band comes up around the quad, foot stays on that disc in three, two, one. Okay, take that band on up. Stamp the right foot down on the floor, keep it there. Left foot comes in, soft bend into the knees, taking it out. So we're not dropping as low as you would in a typical skating. We're doing baby skating right here, where we're working to find those four to six inches, where everything is targeting into the upper glute. So as you push up, drive, hold, take it and stay with it here. There we go. Breathe it out. So again, soft bend. I always like to cue this as you got your high-waisted jeans on. Put your right hand in your back pocket. That's where you should feel the connection. Anchor down through the outside of that right front foot. All the signal comes up to the top of the glute. Push it out from there, push it. Drive, stop there, take it in. Stop that knee well before it comes in, press. Good, do not shift over to that left. Keep yourself stacked onto the right. All right, guys, log it out, breathe into it, it's here. Woo, keep that soft bend. Do not roll over into that big right toe. Keep that anchor side down of that right heel. All right, 15 right here. Breathe. Stay into it, push into it. Right back in, yes you can. Hang on to it. There we go. Good, you guys, for eight. Hold it halfway. In three, two, let's go. One inch pulses. Go down an inch, out one, hold. So little inches right here. Down an inch, out one, hold right here. A little one inch in, one inch out. Woo, let it squeeze, let it work. Feel that tension, pull up, grab your abs in, protect the low spine. All right, we got this here. Last six, Woo, check into it, stay with it here for three, band comes off. You give me that elevator lunge in two, one. Okay, kick it off right here. Right foot forward, left foot back, drop it down, go low, lunge into it here. All right, only the first 20 seconds are gonna be into that static, that elevator lunge. We're going right back, pushing into it. No hand weights here, chest chop. We're gonna immediately combo this up into that carriage kick right here in three, two, one, bend the knee in for four. Three, two, hold, drop it down an inch. Pick it up an inch, push it back, go out for four. Three, two, hold. Drop it down an inch. Take it up an inch. Do that two more times. Take it in. Two, three. Woo! Breathe it down one. Take it up one. Come on, let's go. Push it out. Reach. Get along. You want one more just like that. Take it up an inch. Little squeeze right here. Take it in. 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 Hold it strong. Down one. Hold. Up one. Freeze. Right here you go all out, final 30 seconds. Climb it up for four. Do not lock it out for three, two, stop there, take it down. Woo, breathe it out. Outside, core tight. Yes, you can. The only thing you have to finish off that right leg is with that hamstring curl with that band. You're here, hang on to it, push it. This is your last lunge all the way up. Stop before the top, take it down. 
Give me a 10 second hold right here. Just hold for eight. Breathe for six. Find that medium resistance band. We curl it out in those bunions in three, two, one. Okay, both feet come into that band right here. Knees come down. I want you to go ahead, take it up, set it out. So both feet into that band, immediately up into those hamstring curls. Flex it out, push. Right leg long, curl. Two, three, hold, take it out, go four. Three, two, pause right here, center out that tabletop. Woo, you pull it in, take it out. Breathe it out, reach long. There you go, everything squeezes back and in. All right, think of your hamstring as your bicep right here. Think about curling. Curl it in, flex it, hold. Take it off, Woo. 20 seconds right here. Come on, power it out. You're gonna give me that bungee kick. In three, two, press it up, press it up an inch. Down an inch, there you go. This is your last 30 seconds. Everything in that right leg goes into that band. Everything you got pushes through that ceiling. Stay onto it. We do not come back to that right leg. Up two. No tempo right here. Don't bounce it up off the top. Lift, hold, resist it down for eight. Woo. We find that resistance too. You give me that scrambled eggs on the right in three, two, one. Kick it off right there. All right. Find that resistance too. Bring the handle around the right foot. Bring your right hand to the center of that tube, kick it out, hold straight, now fold into that right oblique squeeze, do not move that tabletop, so if you ever need to adjust, start in the tabletop first, so important from there, that's where you push out, then lead out with the pinky edge, option to hover, bring that left hand, I like it behind the back, I feel like it keeps my chest open, stay into this right here, time is on, Right oblique is the one folding in, then you squeeze out. Reach, shall reach. So I'm gonna give you that. More of that side angle right here, so that as you fold, fold, pinky edge comes out. Take it out, reach long. Stay into this right here. Good, you guys lift it tall. Now it is not a mistake that that right leg is still getting a little extra credit right here. I love to pair a scrambled egg after a leg. If you've taken my class in the studio before, you know. It's like that little sneaky way to get a little bit more love into that right leg. Squeeze it up, pull, chest open. Use that right oblique for 10. There we go. We're gonna hold it all the way back. Reach that left arm long. Three, two, hold it here. Point your right toe a little harder. Get it a little higher. Reach the left hand a little further. Get it a little higher. We find that second little handle. Knee comes onto that band, kneeling torso twist in three, two, one. Okay, right here. Continuing with that right oblique. Take the band underneath the right knee. Take your hands out. Grip under those handles to create that added tension. You do you. I like it to be a little bit tighter so that it's that added tension to squeeze. Slowly take those hands right back center. Hold, pause. We're only twisting to that left side. What is not turning are those hips. Those hips are holding dead straight center. We're twisting at that waistline. All right. We talked about that mindfulness right here. Use it. Breathe, exhale. Squeeze. Inhale, reset it right back in. You got this. You got this. You are strong. You are able. You breathe into it. Let's go. 15 seconds. Twist it out. So good. So good. All right. Finding that twist. In three, hold it over. Two, one, hold it. Little squeeze. Back an inch. Squeeze. There we go. We're going to find one disc or two, your option. You got it dancing there. Just to the right. In three, two, one. Okay, right here, here we go. 
Hands come down. Feet come onto that dish. You take one or two. I'm gonna demo it out with one. Single sided dancing bear. That means those knees come to the left elbow. Sink, take it right back out. Hold it, reach the plank long. Use that tempo here, squeeze in, squeeze. Grab into that knee to elbow, take it out. Woo. Three right there, yes you can, squeeze four. Three, two, hold, take it out. Level one, always an option. Take it just one leg at a time. That's perfect, if that's where you're at, just cross it just there, only with the right. Bend it in, otherwise level two, both feet, let's go. For 10, hold out that plank for me. Hold, freeze in three, two, one. Hold right here. You give me a 20 second hold in this plank. This is your halftime pep talk right here because as soon as we come out of this plank, we are going into that repeater side, that left side, that floor lunge. You find those hand weights, right foot stays on the disc. You know where you're going. That means those transitions are smoother. They're quicker. We're into the muscle faster. Let's get it in three, two, one. Okay, Tuesday, hand weights into hand. Left foot onto the mat. Right foot back. Drop it down. Let's go. Floor lunge. Hold. Pause. Take it up for four. Take it up for three. Two, stop before the top, take it right back down. Now what we love about round two, that second side, as your body has already shown you, just how strong it is. This is where you get to challenge it a little bit more. So if you got through that right leg, and you held back a little bit, you know where that area was. I want you to make up for it right here. I want you to still use this to get that heart rate up. Push into this. That's why I pick a different leg to start classes throughout the weeks. So it's okay if you've done more into the left leg right here. We're gonna even it out as we continue to keep moving through this quarantine. Come on. Push into it here. Grow strong, but do not miss out on that opportunity to hold. Take it down. We get those two inches in three, two, one, down first, down one. Down two, there we go, up one. Up two, hold into it, squeeze. Little flexes, so you're imagining that left boot, squeeze it up an inch, squeeze it up again. Sit it back low, sit it back even lower. Good, you guys, for 10. Hang on to it here, breathe it out. One more up, one more down, those arms go back. Keep that left leg strong, hands go back, long jump, three. Two, lean that chest. Now get the arms up. Up two, be so careful you aren't folding into that hip flexor, but you're pulling the core up and away. Down an inch, take it up, one. Up two, down one, down two. You know the drill. As soon as we come off of this, your final 30 seconds of that full range are coming in. You're gonna give me 20 seconds of that full range and a 10 second hold in three hands of prayer in two, one, up four. Do not lock it out, I know it's so tempting, don't do it, take it there, stop before the top. Take it down, breathe, squeeze. There we go, hold there, climb it up. Woo, okay Tuesday. Last 10, one more up all the way down, come on. Fire it up right here, let's go. Kick it up for four, three, two, pause there, take it down, go four. We got that hold, hold it together, two, one, hold it here, 10 second hold, breathe. This is where you work, fire it up into this. Think about how dang good it feels when you finish that completion all the way to the end. We get ready, find that runner's lunge in three, two, one, kind of slow, take it out. Hand weights are up. All right, heavy resistance fan. Take it right around the legs. Front of the left shin, back of that right hamstring. Three, two, drop it down, go low. Push it out here, slowly taking it in. All right, right into that runner's lunge. Because you guys, we're not messing around Tuesday. We took 45 minutes to challenge that body and let it happen. It's going to feel uncomfortable. Anytime you open yourself up to growth, there's always that weird, weird point 
where it feels different, it's new. Woo. I want you to reach for that. Get curious just how strong, how much that body's gonna show up for you right here. Allow that breath to come back in right here. Give me three more, put your breath to it. Exhale, hold, inhale. Low abs, squeeze tight, hips squared, chest tall. There we go, breathe. All right, we got one more. We're gonna hold it halfway in three, two, one, drop it down an inch. Push it out, one, hold. Drop it down an inch, push it out, one, hold. Little one inch pushes, come on. You know how this works, 15 seconds, little inches. You're in an inch, out an inch. Can you get it lower? Hang into it. Whew. We got six. One full range all the way out, holding in. Let's go for four, three, two. Hold, take it back in, four, three, two. Hold it at your lowest, everything you got right here. Close those eyes, fight for it, whatever you got. Dump it in one inch lower. Take a deep breath in, go one inch lower. For four, baby skating in three, two, one. Okay, slide it up right around the quads. Left foot on the mat, right foot on that disc. Push it out, hold. Feel all the energy shift to the outer glute, outer thigh. This is our single move to work into the outside of that leg today. So as you push into it, get heavy through the outside of the heel, get light into the left big toe. Pull the abs in tight. Remember, high waist jeans on. Left hand, high pocket. Take it in, pull the abs tight. So most of the time when I'm in this movement, I got the hand on my tummy and a hand on my booty. Because that low abs, you're gonna pull them in. I want you to remember that we're not arching that back. We're getting a flat tailbone to spine. Flat line, push it out. Hold it away, take it in. Whoo, there we go. Good, you guys fighting right here. Last 10 seconds. Breathe it out. Hold it halfway, three. Hold it there, two. Halfway, down an inch, hold. Out one, pause, do it again, down an inch, hold. Out one, pause, one inch pushes, in an inch. Out an inch, you're here. Lock it in, we get rid of that heavy band. Come on, don't roll into the inside of that knee. Make sure that knee is not coming in. You're pushing out. For four, find that elevator. In three, two, one. Okay, kick off that heavy resistance band. Left foot forward, right foot back, drop it down. Go low into that lunge. Slowly, with control, climb it up right there. Take it down. Breathe, hold low, stand through. You got less than 15 seconds before we're gonna start to combo it with that carriage kick. This one right here. Take it down, go four. Center in in three, two, one. Let's go, down an inch, pull it in four. Three, two, hold, down an inch. Up an inch, push it out. Two, three, four. Take it down an inch. Do it three more times. Let's go. Two, three, hold right here. Down lower than you wanna go. Take it up, push it out. Four, three, two, hold it down an inch, hold. Up an inch, pause, pull. Last one, here we go. Down an inch. Up an inch, you go full range right here. In three, two, 20 seconds to move, come on. Push it up, squeeze into it there, take it down. Whew. Here we go. One more, one more, let's go. Up four, three, two, you hold it down, you get strong for me right here. Hold it in in three, two, one, hold. Hold for everything you got. Start right now, I want you to think, where is that resistance band? Get right into that hamstring curl. Three, two, one. Okay, dish on dish right here. Both feet come into that band. Final leg exercise of the evening. Hamstring curl, send it out. Pull it in. 
try to get it up. Pull, take it out. That's my second distraction. Breathe. Whoo, knee is up. Hips are squared. Core is tight. All the things right here. Let's go, let's go. Tuesday, fire it up. It's still early in the week. So if you've given yourself a hard time for anything, then you felt you give yourself less than you should have this week, this is that time you're gonna change it. Right here, you're gonna put in that energy and you just get to fight for it. If you're having a great, amazing start to the week, you're gonna continue it right here. Breathe into it, but whatever that body needs, pour into it right here. Visualize that hamstring lengthening out as you reach it out. Then pull it in tight. Because you pulse it up, those bungee kicks in three, two, one. Up an inch. Down one. Woo, pull those abs tight. Stay onto it here. Up, up, hold. Stop it. Stop it at the top. Take it down an inch. Do not bounce it. I want a stop, freeze, hold. Conscious decision to resist it down. That knee does not drop unless you allow it to. You tell your leg exactly where it's going. Little press. Squeeze, good, you guys, hold it up, last 10, just hold, hold. We're gonna find that resistance too. Okay, it's shaking. In six, give me scrambled eggs in three, two, one. All right, that band is off. Take that resistance too around the left foot this time. Bring it into the left foot, hold it halfway into that hand. Take it into that tabletop, press it, kick the left leg long. Right into that left oblique. You squeeze, pull in. Take it right back out. So as you're working into this here, be careful. You're not falling heavy into that right hand. In fact, if you took that little challenge out hold, you hover the right. Hold the body long, core tight. Go four, three, two, squeeze. All right. Think about the gap between your hip and left rib, your left hip and left rib, I want you to close that gap. Close into it, fold into that left side. Pull it back. Breathe, reach it long. Do you feel that extra booty work right there? But that oblique is starting to fire up. Whole core is working. Don't hold that breath, let it power you. There we go, last 10. Take it out, squeeze, we reach it long. Hold it long in three. Two, hold, hold it here, reach out right hand out. I want you to reach for me through that screen right here. Take it out, reach out, foot back. We got this, we're here together, come on. Hold it to it. For six, whoo, for four, kneeling, torso twist in three, two, one. Okay, it's in right here. Take that band underneath the left knee. Hands come into that handle. Just underneath that handle, twist it out. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Take it over. Has that happened to anyone else yet? I'm glad I'm not alone. Come on, take it over. Twist. So we're twisting now to our right side. You think about your left oblique pushing the movement. Hold. Slowly take it back and in. Breathe. Twist it. Reach. Hold. Pull it back and in. There we go, right here. Everything happening. Over, look over that right side. Keep that right hip pushed forward. 15 seconds right here. All right, let's let those arms start to feel that warm up. Because after your last oblique exercise, that's all you got left, those arms. Take it over, hold. In three, two, one little pulse, let's go. Reach, Woo. breathe. For eight. For six, you got that dancing bear. In three, two, one. All right, right here. Hands go forward onto that floor. Take those feet onto those dips. Remember, level one. Cross it just that left knee, right elbow. Otherwise, level two, we got it right here. Squeeze, let those knees come over to that right elbow. Hold, take it off four, three, Two, pause, take it back and in, squeeze. Squeeze, drag it into the side. Take it out, breathe right here, reach long, hold. Bring it in, twist it, twist it, twist it. See how those hips are gonna hold. Tabletop the whole time, stop there. Scoop it in, twist. Squeeze the inner thighs together, fold it on that left oblique. 
Good, you guys, 15 seconds left to move. Woo. Breathe it out. Stay with it strong. Nice, you guys. For six. One more, one more, all the way in. Hold it out. Find that plank. In three, two. Hold it there, shoulders out of the ears. Core and tight, come on. Stay with this. Breathe. Nice, you guys, we find that newspaper. Fan comes around those hands. In four, three, two, let's go. Okay, taking it center. Medium resistance band, right around those hands. Come on up onto those knees, elbows come tight. Pull out, open. Squeeze through those shoulders, slowly take the hands in. Right here, newspaper, pull it back. Reach, hold, take it in. Woo, squeeze and breathe. You guys got five minutes of class. This is that little finish line, that last lap, that last muscle group we gotta get through. I want you to take that same work, that same shake, everything that you felt into those legs, that core, find it here. Woo! Breathe into it here. Guys, you guys hold it out in three, two, hold it there, hold it. Hold it, stay with it. We're taking it right up to that lifted newspaper. Three, two, one, take it up. Take it out, hold. I like to say this is the one where it feels like you're like putting on that like bandana, that survivor. Take it out slowly, take it right back in. Breathe right there, all right. If you got hand weights, this is perfect. Open, pulling through the back of that shoulder. Squeeze right here. Put on that survivor headband, take it out. Woo, right here, here we go, go slow. That power, that slow control movement to breath. 15 seconds, let's go, take it in. Woo, take it out, we're just gonna work it up. Our arms, you're gonna see a little stair stepper progression. Cause right from here we take it up, take it behind the head. We go lap, pull down in three, Two, reach it up right here. Sweaty hands in that band, pull it back. Take it out. Reach, hold right there, pull it back in, squeeze. Elbows wide, hit that repeat. There we go, so for that lap, pull down. What you're doing is you're pulling those hands out and away, squeeze. You're keeping the elbows wide, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, keeping the abs up tight so you've got a neutral spine. Find those lats, no slack into that band. Pull out and away, pull down, pull down. Squeeze, take it out, Woo. This one gets shaky every time. Take it four, three, two. Now you are holding and hovering over into that leaning kind of leaning diagonal so those abs have to hold up. Squeeze up, find the center of the back, find that work. There we go. So good for that posture right here. Opening up, pulling everything through the front, opening in that stretch as we strengthen through the back. Last 10. There we go. We're gonna take that man behind us, sticking with those postures, going chest opener in three, two, one. Okay. Hands come right behind you, put them into that band. Open, squeeze, chest opener. So hands, push it out, push it back. This is where you superwoman that chest right here. Reach it, reach it, pop it up. Woo. Pull it back and in, squeeze right here. Reach, breathe. Constant connection to that band. That band is holding out, back and away. I want you to think about that band staying outside those hips so that as you push it back, keep that little connection, squeeze into it, breathe it right back in. There we go. Hang on to it. All right, guys. This is it. We're going into those triceps. Elbows lift up, kick it back in three, two, one. Kick it back, back, hold it up. Slowly drop it right back down. Okay, hello, upper body. Hang into it. Final 60 seconds, keep that constant push out through that band, take it in. In, find that center back. Good, you guys, get the chin off the chest, pull the abs back and in. If you ever need to sit down onto those heels for that little relief, that's yours, that's it. Otherwise, we're here. Take it up. 20 seconds, go. Four, 
four, three, two, hold, take it down, go four, three, two, one more, push it back, back, hold it there, hold it there for six, nice, you guys, stay on to this, breathe it out for four, we take that band on off, you meet me right into that plank, we're going bare in three, two, one, okay, hands come to the mat, your last 60 seconds, bring your feet onto that disc, hold it out, hold, breathe, 60 seconds, in three, two, give me that bear, bend the knees in, we took this right to left, you're going to take it right down the middle, take it out, hold, pull it back for four, three, two, hold, hover, take it out, Squeeze, reach the body long. There you go. Abs tight, hold, hover the knees. Woo! All right, 20 seconds. Think of everything you have given, that gift, that gift that you have given yourself, taking your time for you. You gotta take care of yourself first. It starts with you. That's where you get that energy, that space to give into everyone that receives your strength, your love outside this room, outside this class. Do it for that, do it for that final hold. Push it out, give me that plank in three, two, one. Hold that plank right here, hold. Stay here, I'm with you, breathe. Yes, you can, last eight. Whew. That child's pose is gonna feel so much better when you take these last four seconds to squeeze everything in. Hold into it in three, Two, one, okay, Tuesday, melt that down, Whew. breathe it out, take that head, roll it side to side, oh. coming up nice and slow up to the front of that mat. Popping those comments back on. Oh, let's stretch it out, Tuesday. That was a sweaty one. <laughs> I'm like, and glowing. Oh, you guys, incredible, incredible job right here. I'm gonna go ahead, sit it, little crisscross apple saucy style. And we're gonna go ahead and just work up into those arms, up into those shoulders first. Take a big breath all the way up. Grab onto that left wrist, take it up. Open, oh, switch it up, other side. Nice, you guys, all right, taking those hands out into this, we're gonna go ahead and twist, opening through those obliques. Take it back center right here. You guys are incredible, so I like to do this last little portion of class right here. If you got questions, anything like that, we're just gonna open up to the opposite side. Oh. All right, taking that stretch, open it up, feel that arm come across, slowly take it out, serve it, reach it all the way out, nice, you guys, oh, so dang good, I'm so, so glad you guys are here, so glad you took that time for yourself, reaching just kind of like your pitch on that baseball time and all the way around, Whew. so like I said, guys, in the beginning, my name is Megan. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you guys. It means the world to me that you guys allow me to teach, even if it looks a little bit different. It seriously, it fills my heart. Take that left hand, reach it out, squeeze. Oh, thank you. Definitely make this a regular. Oh, I would love, love, love to keep seeing you. I'll be here. We're doing this. Take that left one out. Pull it all the way over. Squeeze, hold. Whew. I hope you guys are feeling good. Oh, I know there's so much going on. So thank you guys for being a big light into my day. Take that right foot forward. Find that lunge. Take it over, stretch it back, pull it back. Press for two. Take it up, press for two. Oh. Rolling into that there, there you go. Here we go, do you have any active lats stopping traps from taking over upper body movements? Um, yeah, so a lot of, uh, one of my favorite lap movements that we'll do, um, 
is the uh, on the tailbone. It's called a tailbone angel um, because it's not lifting up and forward, but it's actually pulling out through the back. Um, I feel like that one is really great for lats without pulling super up into the traps. Um, so working into that, if you look into my highlights onto my page in the arms, um, you'll see each of the arm movements detailed. So what the one you're looking for is a tailbone angel. Um, if you feel like the lat pull down, you can always use that as a variation just because it doesn't pull overhead to pull back into that there. Stretching into it, move. Oh, okay, take those last two little cat cows, drink everything up. Breathe it in, exhale, round through. Whew. One more time, deep breath. Exhale, round it over. Press through, take those feet in front of you. Oh, all right. Breathe it up. Tuesday, you're phenomenal. I love you. Take it up, fold it over, reach it down, hold it there. If you guys didn't already see onto that there, I will be giving you a post. Little quick update for you guys. Hold on, rolling it up, shoulders out of the ears. Next Monday evening, the 5.30, at 5.30 is your classes with me. We will still be having class, but we will be, I'll be hosting it onto Sweat and Tell's um, class. So if you're booking through class pass, don't worry, the link's already in there. Um, but for the rest of you guys, you guys will know, you just go to Sweat and Tell, I'll be, I'll be there. Still same thing, nothing's changing. We're just gonna go ahead and get to move with a bunch of people. So I'm really excited about that. I love you guys. Um, ask me any questions if you got them and I'll see you soon. Bye.